Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome okay. back. All right. All right. Now, Welcome back. We are going to start with Java programming again. Okay. Let's create inside src.java, we have Java basic. Okay. And we have human class. You see? This is human class. Now, if you look at it, this is human class. And as we always emphasize, give importance to core Java, core concept. This is human class. And these are the states. Do you remember? And these are the what? These are the methods, right? Ignatius, do you yeah. remember? Yeah, and what is, what is this? What is this? This is main method. And inside the main method, we created an object, new human is created from human class. Where is our class? This is our class, right? Today we are going to learn another new concept that is inheritance, remember. We need to know it. What are we going to do? Say for example, this is not Hima, this is H1 and this is H2. Okay, now to access all the methods, these methods, and also properties of this human class, <clears throat> what do we need to do? We need to create an object. We create new human object, and another object is new human, but reference variable is different, right? Understand? Now, yeah. how we can access the name properties? Ignatius, could you please tell me how we can access this name properties? Why it is red mark? Can you find out the solution? What's wrong with it? Um... What? We have to we have to give it a new name. New name. Do we need? Okay. What is the new name? Uh, H one. Correct. Don't say new name. You can say new reference, reference variable. Right. You, we okay, change the reference variable. Right, okay. Right. So it can be H2, no problem. Okay, still we can access. And what's the wrong here? This is also H1, right? Okay, fantastic. Now you know how to access all the properties and methods. We learned that much so far, right? But Today, I'm going to teach you new concepts, another concept, okay? No, fantastic. I'm going to teach you another concept and that is inheritance. Inheritance. What is inheritance? In Java programming, Java is Java is welcome back, Rudy. Welcome back, Mr. Rudy. Java is an OOP, meaning object oriented programming. Okay, we call it object oriented programming meaning 
This programming is all about objects. That is why it is called object-oriented program. That is why we are creating object, okay? Because it is object-oriented program. Without creating object, you cannot do anything, okay? So you have to know the concept well. Now in object-oriented programming, object-oriented programming, Java, OOP has four main principles, principles, okay? And these four principles are, one is, number one is, let me write here. Number one is, number one is, Inheritance, inheritance, okay? And number two is encapsulation. Encapsulation, encapsulate. Number three is abstraction, okay? Abstraction, and number four is Polymorphism, polymorphism, okay, polymorphism, I think something wrong, morphism, okay, I hope it's okay, polymorphism, it's why, poly, okay, polymorphism, no, it is I. Okay, polymorphism means many forms. Okay, we will know what is polymorphism, what is abstraction, and what is encapsulation, and also what is inheritance. Today we are going to learn about inheritance. Inheritance in Java, you can say in Java, inheritance, is a concept of inheriting all the properties and methods of a parent class by a subclass or we call it also child class child class okay now try to understand the concept inheritance is a concept of inheriting all the properties and methods of a parent class by subclass, meaning a child class. Okay, what does it mean? This is human is parent class, meaning you created this class first, okay? Try to understand. And I'm going to create another class. In the basic Java, I'm going to create another class and name of this class is say for example, teacher. Which class did I create first? Who can tell me? Definitely I created human, human. class first. Human. Human. Then I created teacher, okay? Teacher. Say for example, I have another class and this is student class. Okay. Actually, I have now two child class and one parent yeah. class. Okay. Now this two child class, student and teacher, <clears throat> I don't have any properties. Do you see any state here? No. No? Do no. you see any methods here? No. No, no method. But we have definitely 
main method, but we don't have user defined method. We didn't create any method here. We don't have create method. We didn't create any method. Excuse me. In students class, we don't have any properties. We don't have any method. We don't have any states. We don't have any behaviors. Right? Yeah. And in teacher class, we don't have any states. We don't have any behaviors. But we have main methods only. Right? Now, look. I don't have anything for teacher class. I don't have any properties, any methods. Still, <laughs> I can just inherit all the properties and methods from human class and can use here. Okay, how? To inherit from parent class by a child class, we have to use our keyword extends and we have to mention from which parent class we are going to inherit. We are going to inherit from human. Uh, okay. I said, we are going to extend human, meaning we are going to inherit from human class. Where is human class? Here, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, we are inheriting. To inherit, first I have to create teacher. object, teacher, oh. okay? Teacher and name of the teacher is Ignatius, say for example, Ignatius, Ignatius, okay? And I say new teacher, parenthesis, semicolon. We know how to create object. This is also very popular interview question. How do you create object? You have to tell, to create object, we need a class, Name. then a reference variable, then equal sign, the new keyword, then name awesome. of the class, parenthesis, then semicolon. Then mm -hmm. interviewer will ask you another mm -hmm. question. Which one is object? Reference variable? or new teacher. Your answer will be new teacher is object and this is reference variable to the new teacher. Okay, now we created object and now using reference variable. What is reference variable here? Ignatius, Ignatius. Okay, this is the reference variable. Now we can access, you see? We can access name, age. We can access also teach method and also another method. What? Main, main method, teacher and uh, teach method. Uh, I think we have another method. What is dance method, you see? dense void human from human we create this method and this is from human can you see yeah maybe i can make it a little bigger i can see okay let me make it a little bigger dot you see h do you have h here no do you have Name here? No. no. From where are you inheriting it? From a human, you see? Last, Last name is human. This is human. And also dance also from human class. And this is also teach also from human. Right. So you don't have any, any method. You don't have any properties. Still, you can access and use them because this teacher child class is inheriting it from human class. Is it clear to you? 
clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, I am using dense method. I access dense method in Ignatius dot. I am using teach method. I don't have teach method and I don't have dance method. Still, I can access it. I'm using from human. You see, I have here teach method. I have here dance method. Okay. And I can access it. Still, I can access it. And this concept is called inheritance. Okay. Just you say proceed. You see? Nasreen also can dance. Nasreen also can dance. Nasreen can teach. Both methods are active. Now, student. I don't have student. I don't have state and behaviors. I can extend it. Extends. From which one you want to uh, inherit? From teacher or from human? You. you can now, student can inherit from human and also can inherit from teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Say for example, teacher. <clears throat> we no want to extend problem. it from teacher. Okay? Teacher then method. State or behavior. We don't have state and behavior, but I, we can maybe make it. Student, the name of the student is LVZ, LVZ equal to new student. So new student is new object. LVZ is reference variable to new object. Okay, now, we are inheriting from teacher. Now, let's go to teacher. This teacher has salary. Say, for example, salary is integer, right? Sell. Sell in USD. Say, for example, salary in USD. And it is 100K. Okay. We have salary. One more. Reason. And behavior, say, for example, it 10K. is void, void. And this is student can play, play football, say, for example, play, play. What games do you like, Mr. Ignatius? Soccer. Soccer, okay. How do you pronounce, uh, sorry, spell soccer? Soccer, like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Soccer, playing soccer or soccer play, whatever. System dot out dot print in. And I say Ignatius Lab. Soccer. Why here red mark? Can you tell me? Something is missing. Oh, Something what is, is missing? What is missing? Quotation mark. Quotation no, 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 mark uh, is there. Uh, no, uh, termination. 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 This is termination, okay. yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Now we have teacher has one properties, one method. Now we want to inherit it by student. Student has nothing, right? Student does have nothing. So I just can say LVZ dot, now you see, LVZ can inherit from human, from human, from teacher also. So actually, try to 
inherit dance, say for example, dance. Can you inherit it? Can you? Let's see. Yes, we can. Now tell me how student can access and inherit from human. Teacher doesn't have dance method, does she? Does he? No, he doesn't. But still, student can access it from teacher how? Do you remember? Teacher inherited from where? From human, right? Done. Yes. He inherited, teacher inherited. And from teacher, student is inheriting. Teacher doesn't have dance method, teach method, but teacher inherited it from human. Now teacher has everything, whatever human does have. And student is inheriting it from teacher. Okay. Now LVZ can inherit also from teacher salary. Okay. This is properties, so you need to say system dot out dot print Helen and just put it inside and you can access it. I just put here. You see, no red mark, meaning it can access. Hundred K is there. Okay, and again, LVZ dot, it can also, it can also teach and what else? Uh, let me check what method we have. Play soccer. Okay, play soccer. Let's just say, you see, play soccer. You can access also play soccer. We don't have play soccer here. We are accessing it from teacher class. Is the concept clear? Is it clear? Mr. Ignatius? Uh, Is it the inheritance concept clear? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's clear. Clear. But you have to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Where did you start this topic, uh, Babu? Hmm? What is your when question, you, please? When did you start this topic? Just now. Mm. Just today, okay? okay? This is new. So these four principles, uh, we are discussing the inheritance tonight and yes. next will be encapsulation, abstraction and polymorphism. Yes, yes. Okay. And once we complete these three, you are done with Java. Are all these uh, are all these needed in uh, Java? Like uh, when we no uh... no, we need only up to inheritance to understand 
but in interview they will ask this question too okay so for interview purpose we have to learn this yeah. three we can learn it later on maybe okay because if you learn it and you will forget it and again i have to teach it okay but you have to understand this concept how you are inheriting yeah okay once you understand up to here completely you can understand automation okay now do you have any question on inheritance how we are inheriting is it clear the concept mm -hmm. i'm a, i'm i'm a little bit confused it's like uh, if you're inheriting is you are inherit um you are inheriting from a parent class by then, child class um, now here human class. human class is parent class yeah. then teacher is child class of human right mm -hmm. now student is grandchild of human but child of teacher yes so you're indirectly extending the inheritance to the student from a parent human class yeah indirectly i'm inheriting from teacher okay whatever teacher is inheriting from human everything he is inheriting and from teacher student is inheriting mm -hmm. now teacher is inheriting everything from human human mm -hmm. and now teacher has whatever human does have teacher does have same properties and inheritance after teacher inherited uh -huh. now student can inherit whatever teacher have and whatever human does have uh -huh. because he is inheriting from teacher sure, okay. and indirectly also from human. human directly inheriting from teacher but also from human directly indirectly. yeah okay so it's so more like a, a son uh, uh, and sorry, a grand, grand kid Right. So, 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 Babu, you are our um, human. Ignatius is the teacher, student. and I'm the student. Yes. So I'm inheriting all your uh, wealth. Right. So all right. your millions, uh, Ignatius, will be yes. given to me. But you have to get yes. all the millions to uh, <laughs> Babu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. a real world example okay yeah i yeah. can i can say mr rudy you inherited from your parents maybe some money a car a house say for example now you inherited it your parents uh, parents are Say, for example, they are in Philippines, okay? You are in the USA. And your kids came to the USA with you, okay? Say, for example, you inherited money, properties, car from your parents, and now the car, money, everything inherit from you, your kids. Okay. No, but you, will your be, kids will be inherited by your kids. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but your kids are not directly inherited all the monies, properties from, my parents. from your parents. Uh huh. But mm -hmm. indirectly, you inherited everything, and they are inheriting from you. Yeah. But these properties are actually from from my parents, from their parents, yeah. grandparents. Okay? Grand grandparents, yeah, exactly. The yeah. same concept is. Here applied. Okay, I got it. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now, just what you can do, just watch this 
video maybe one time, then second time watch and code. You will learn. It. I have a problem with coding. I wanted to do practice in my Eclipse, but I don't know how to start. Um, I was gonna text you. Uh, maybe if I have time. Um, hopefully Thursday I will text you how, on how to um uh, and teach me how to start. This I really would like to practice, but this pre uh, pre previous day I I got sick, so sorry about that. Sorry to know you were sick. God bless you. Uh, Get well soon. In class. Yeah. Okay. Now. In the jolo. Now. Um, who want to practice? Since your ID is not working, let's fix it now and practice okay. 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Can you do it now? Yeah, I can do now. Okay, fantastic. Um, let's take five minutes break. Just please get out from the chair. Okay, stretch out your body. Take a glass of water or a cup of coffee or hot tea. Then come back after five minutes, okay? All right, let's join back after five minutes. Okay. Five minutes break. All right. I, I How can I access this to review? Sorry? How can I access this to have a review? Oh, I will send you the video. Okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I will send it. I will send it to you. Okay. Just join back after five minutes. 